Hello folks and welcome back to our 1000 euro E36 project. Uh, it has been some time since we have had any work done on this particular build and uh, I wanted to pretty much give you guys a quick update today on what's going on and what we are planning to do. So, uh, when we last left the car, uh, we pretty much had it driving, uh, but there is some other work that we need to do before we can bring the car for its NCT test and get it fully road legal. Now, one of the, the jobs that I had started before bringing the car up here to Site B is repairing the rust holes in the sills. So as you can see here, I had started on the driver's side, uh, but we still have to do the uh, passenger side. So that we will be getting up to very, very soon now, within the next week, uh, we'll be starting to get this, get all the rusty nasties cut out of this, getting it patched, welded and primed. Uh, so once we have that done, uh, what we need to do then, finally, before we can go for testing, is in the back and in the front I need to put straps on the batteries uh, so that they don't go jumping out. Uh, so we got the 6 here and our 12 volt, uh, they need to be secured, so it's kind of a boring job but still needs to be done. Uh, for you know safety and kind of box ticking at the same time um, what we need to do under the bonnet is pretty much the same thing uh, here we need to just strap in the front batteries and I'm going to make a full video for you guys on how the high voltage junction box and the controller and all of that stuff in there wires up so that's pretty much where we are. Um, I did have to kind of warehouse this project for a few months just with various things going on in my life. Um, but I've cleared a lot of the backlog now and uh, we will be getting, yeah, we will be getting this car uh, pretty much driving now in the next week or two. Now, once we go in for the test, there's a very high probability that they're going to find stuff that's just generally wrong with the car, brakes, shocks, springs, bushings, all that kind of stuff. So we will have to get involved with uh, getting that stuff done. Um, but once we have it, uh, once we have those batteries secured and the rust taken care of on the sills, uh, we should be pretty much good to go to um, to start in on uh, getting getting this car tested. And then, as I say, I'm going to do a full video for you guys on what goes on in the magic box. Alrighty, so as I say, that was just a very quick update on our budget E36 EV build. Uh, as I say, we will be back soon now with some more re regularly scheduled programming on this vehicle. Uh, so do stay tuned for that. Um, check the links in the description for GitHub, Patreon, PayPal and all that good stuff. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And... Until next time, happy E36 sill rust repair work.